You know, if I had a dollar every time someone asked me when Manor Lords was coming out, I'd be a very rich person, all right? I'd be able to buy Manor Lords, the company. I'd just buy it. Uh, Slavic magic. You know, and I had no idea when. It, it, I, it, people expected me to have some insider information or something. I have no idea. But guess what? April 26th, 2024. That's when it's coming out. And, uh... You, yeah, I found out when everybody else found out. So I don't, unfortunately, I don't have any insider information. I wish I did, but uh, yeah, Manor Lords is coming out. It's got an announcement date. This is very exciting because when you're in the dark and you don't know when the game's coming out, it sucks. And you're just like, when is this coming out? You know, uh, but yeah, it's exciting. What we're going to do today, I guess this is a bit of a, an announcement video, I suppose. Everybody's making it. I felt like I should make one. You know, every strategy YouTubers make. Oh, Mandalore, the Total War Killer. I might as well uh, make a video. I don't think I'll call it that, but I am excited for Mandalords. And I, I've noticed, you know, another thing to add, an, a Lord of the Rings game came out. It's called Return to Moria, and it just... I, I didn't have great comments on it. I, I don't think it's a terrible game. I think people misinterpret what I said. It's not a terrible... I just didn't like what they did with the characters. That's all. Anyways, the reason I'm bringing this up is because people claim that I am pessimistic and cynical about everything. No, I'm actually very hopeful for Manor Lords. Uh, I'm very cynical about most games, that's true, but I have a very proven track record of being right, okay? I was right about Warhammer. I was right about Total War, like many years before anyone said anything. So, um, you know, I feel like I have a pretty good knack for, you know, knowing good games and stuff. And, I, you know, I'm a huge, huge fan of Kingdom Come Deliverance, probably one of my favorite games ever. And this kind of gives me the same vibes, totally different games. But Manor, Lord, um, Manor Lords is, is that same historical immersiveness that I think we're going to enjoy. So anyways, let's go ahead and just jump into the trailer. Three, two, one. All right, guys, here we go. One thing I want to mention before we get started watching this trailer, it's a short trailer. Uh, I looked up, so the launch, of course, the release of Early Access is the 26th of April. I looked up if there was any historical event, because sometimes certain gaming companies will release a, a historical game during a historical event, like an anniversary of an event. I looked up what happened on the April 26th, anything crazy like medieval. Uh, I think there was an assassination attempt in Florence that failed. Apparently, there's some inspiration there with Assassin's Creed. And then uh, this is not medieval, but Chernobyl, the Cherno Chernobyl, uh, you know, disaster uh, started on April 26th. So hopefully this game will not go as bad as a nuclear disaster. Um, Hopefully it's it goes nuclear in in the good sense, right? Anyways, uh, let's watch this trailer. You have been chosen to govern a land of great peril and promise. It has suffered long from the scourge of banditry, but there is another threat, an illegitimate. So uh, I, I'm I think this is full of new stuff um the flags look new i don't remember seeing flags in the other trailers so they look pretty good the battles look good the baron who claims the northern territories as his own will you prove yourself worthy of this honor or will you perish by the traitor's steel hmm I mean, I just love this game. It's just, there's so much detail and I love how like authentic he tries the developers here. Who are, I, I think it started with one person. I think there's more now, but the detail that they put into these, the different jobs and the different, it just made it lifelike. I, I really like that. So it just, it's looking good. I also like this fast forward thing when they're building and they kind of build it in a realistic way. Instead of just like the building, like growing from the, uh, you know, the, the ground or whatever. It's like it, they kind of put it together in a realistic manner. Manor Lords. Got the, like, yeah, it just looks so good. Clean. Looks clean and fancy.
policies. You got policies, production, and development. So this might be like your tech tree here and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Little, it, it, it doesn't show us much, but we're seeing some stuff. And of course, everything's a work in progress. Hmm. I mean, I tell you what, guys, Kingdom Come Deliverance, it feels like, it feels like this is like, I, I don't know, just Kingdom Come Deliverance in this game. Oh, it's just so, so, they look, they're just so immersive. It's a, it's two game companies that fully respect history. And really, like, this is what gaming is all about. Like, especially historical gaming. Make it feel like you're there. Make it feel like you're actually gone back in time. You know, not some, like, pseudo junk. Look at that. Here we go, boy. Looks like they got some raiding going on. Oh, get it. Nice, dude. Got some diplomacy. Look at that flag. It looks so good. Damn, dude. Look at that battle line. Now that's a battle line. This is something that Total War should... I don't really want to talk about Total War, but... I mean, it's only natural when you see a big battle that you think of Total War, but it's just like... Ah, that looks so good. It just looks like genuine, like, a battle line. Looks great. Looks great. The 26th of April, 2024. All right. So yeah, guys, I joined the bandwagon of strategy YouTubers and I made my announcement video. It makes sense. You got to do this kind of stuff. I just thought uh, everybody knows it's coming out anyways. They don't really need another video of someone announcing it. But here we are. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, just a short little announcement video. Um, I'm excited. I'm, I, I see, I'm not cynical about every game guys i'm just very picky when it comes to games and this one looks awesome um i you know there's certain games out there that just they're not a lot there's not a lot of good ones out there um at least in my opinion and uh this with kingdom come deliverance this is this is kind of what i expected out of history gaming like, I love the realism. I love the accuracy because it's just another way, another medium for you to enjoy um, history. And when you have a great game with good mechanics and a great story go along with that, um, you've got a masterpiece. So anyways, that's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will definitely be playing this as soon as possible. Would love to get early access to this, you know, wink, wink, hit, hit. Um, but we'll see. Uh, again, I'm just excited that there's an announcement date so it doesn't feel like we're in the dark and we actually can look forward to something. So that is pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.